This is my, what is this? Meat softener. <laughs> Tenderizer, it's not a softener. What? Ingredients, that's, <laughs> got it, nailed it. Three table, tablespoons. <laughs> oh, that's another tool that you need. Glaze brush. Oh my God, that scared me. It is popping. Here we go. Hey pals, I'm Bjorn, and this is the Cub Kitchen. And Mark, all right. Cub Kitchen is a show where I do crazy easy recipes in my underwear. One of my favorite things to make is buffalo chicken. I'm gonna do my all-purpose buffalo chicken recipe. And what's cool about it is you make the chicken and then you can like put it in different things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this chicken today. Then the next couple are gonna be using that chicken. I make a whole bunch at once, put it in the fridge and then you just like pull it out and throw it in the microwave and then like put it in different dishes. Oh, I gotta mention my sponsor, Bearskin, providing these awesome boxer briefs. Very breathable, awesome, really comfortable. Go down to bearskin.com, pick up a pair. To do the all-purpose buffalo chicken, you need a couple of tools. You need some bowls, a whisk, measuring spoons, a knife, cutting board. This is my meat softener. What is this? A so tenderizer, it's not a softener. Mine looks like brass knuckles. Any meat tenderizer will do. One glaze brush. You need tongs, a grill, or you can use a grill pan. I'm gonna use my grill pan, a pan with ridges in it, so it gives you the grill marks. It's real good. I believe that's all the tools that you need. Uh, ingredients to make this recipe. You need boneless, skinless chicken breast, about four pounds. And then to make the marinade, you need three tablespoons olive oil, one half cup Frank's red hot wing sauce, four tablespoons honey, two teaspoons of lime, two teaspoons garlic powder, two teaspoons chili powder, two teaspoons salt, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon paprika, nailed it, half a teaspoon black pepper, and one teaspoon of onion powder. I believe that's it. Is that everything? Did I get everything? That's all the ingredients. All right, let's get started. First, we're making the marinade. I'm gonna do Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, half cup. Boom. Two teaspoons lime juice. Now we need extra virgin olive oil. Here's a little tip. The honey is sticky. If you do the olive oil first in the spoon, then the honey won't stick to the spoon. Three tablespoons olive oil. And now four tablespoons honey. One. See how it doesn't stick? Isn't that awesome? Three. Don't lose count. I lose count a lot. And four. That's four, right? Right. Now we've got two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons chili powder, two teaspoons salt, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon paprika, paprika, half teaspoon black pepper, and one teaspoon onion powder. And then you get your whisk. Whisk the ingredients together to make your marinade. It's pretty thick. It's pretty much you just whisk it till it's all combined. Now don't worry, this is actually a pretty mild. It is buffalo, but it's pretty mild. Now what you wanna do is put some of it aside. And this will be for the glaze. Put about, like just eyeball like a quarter of it. Okay, one quarter. Set that aside. We're gonna actually add to that for the glaze. Next we're gonna tenderize our chicken and then put it in the marinade. If you tenderize it, you only have to marinate it for like a little while. Four pounds of chicken. I know that's like common sense stuff, but I like to always have a trash sink to wash my hands right away. And if you, you can't really see, but I covered my table in plastic so that I can just and throw it away. I don't have to worry about chicken juice on stuff. Then you take your chicken breasts. I'm just gonna cut them into a little bit smaller pieces. I'm like gonna cut them in half. I trim the, the fat. Trim the fat, then, oh, cut them in half. And then you tenderize each side. You don't wanna over tenderize, but this will also get the flavor, the flavor will like soak in better. And your meat will be more tender. And tenderize. So you got your meat all tenderized, cut into smaller pieces in the marinade, and then you just put your hands in and mix it around to get it all coated on all of the pieces of chicken, all four pounds. So I've never been able to figure out a way of doing this without just making your hands messy. Some people wear gloves. I didn't think about that until just now. You just put on like rubber gloves. Then you don't get this all over your hands. You just take the gloves off. You want the chicken pieces to kind of look like, they'll be like orange. Let this chill for, for about 15 minutes and you should be good to go. I'm gonna wash my hands now. 
Got that all marinating. I like to set up a couple stations. I have like my bowl, my tongs, my grill pan. We're gonna do about between five and 10 minutes on each side, but I cut it open and just make sure that there's no pink inside. Just cooked all the way through. One way to make it cook all the way through quicker is to cover the pan. Or if you're on the grill, do the grill thing. A Little bit of olive oil in there. Buffalo, New York is where buffalo chicken come from. And I've actually been to Anchor Bar which apparently is the original wing place before um, the wild one. <laughs> so that's where it comes from. I've been in Buffalo, New York at the Anchor Bar. The wings were good. I was underwhelmed, <laughs> but I love buffalo anything. Buffalo chicken anything is like one of my favorites. So y'all are getting a taste of some favoritism here. Well, those are marinating and stuff. I'm gonna, oh, finish up the glaze. Add another teaspoon of lime juice. It's about a teaspoon. And a tablespoon of honey, about that. Okay. And then you're gonna add just like a little bit. I, I like to add more of the Frank's hot sauce because then it just has more to paint with. About, I don't know, like, I do know. Uh, <laughs> a, 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 a solid helping of it. We'll do a little more, boop, okay. And then you just mix that up. This is what we're gonna glaze it with. You know what, more honey. And then you set that aside for the end. And then you put each one five to 10 minutes on each side. Here we go. Medium and slow or whatever. <laughs> Paint each one with a, with a little bit of glaze. When you're doing the glaze, it's important to do this while they're still hot. If you don't have a brush, you can use a spoon, but the brush does an even coat and it doesn't use that much. So you use less glaze. All right, so this is the all-purpose buffalo chicken breast. Now when I when I put it in stuff, I usually cut it up and then I like dump this glaze and mix it all up. <laughs> it smells really good. I had to open all the windows because it got a little smoky in my kitchen. <laughs> there it is, the all-purpose buffalo chicken. So many purposes. The next two episodes, I'm gonna use this chicken in those recipes, so tune in next week to use this chicken, the all-purpose buffalo chicken. All right, I gotta thank my sponsor, Bearskin, for providing wardrobe with these awesome boxer briefs. Go down to bearskin.com, pick up a pair. Make sure and like and subscribe to all my videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please comment. I wanna hear what you think. If you think it's ridiculous, if you're like, hey, Bjorn, pick up your pants, we'll listen. I'll pick my pants up or underwears up. Oh, check out my other videos here and here. I've been Bjorn with the Cub Kitchen. You guys are awesome. Bye.